That fire comes as cleanup crews clear one of Oakland's largest homeless encampments. It's been one week now since Caltrans contractors began work at the sprawling Wood Street encampment. KTVU's investigative reporter Brooks Rose was back out there today. He joins us now live in studio after seeing what progress has been made. Brooks. Well, Julie, quite a bit of work in just one week and just hours ago, Caltrans told me leaving this encampment causes unnecessary danger and risk to residents, state highways and railways. The clear out is happening in phases and as you're about to see, phase one is nearly complete. But for those who have called Wood Street home for years, it hasn't been easy. They came in real fast and just started cleaning everybody out. Things have changed along Wood Street in West Oakland. Basically, we need to find a place to go ASAP before they start taking our stuff. Because for a week, Caltrans contractors have cleaned and cleared a major section of the sprawling encampment, a place that's seen roughly 200 fires in two years. Unhoused residents were warned they'd be evicted. We knew we had to move. All of us did. I mean, hell, they posted it a dozen times. But some have held out despite crews creeping closer. Taking everything from me. Mona Choice says her time is almost up. Now they're trying to take my house. My dad passed away. And his picture is on the back of the house. That's all I have. Sadly, she now only has one more day, hoping to save this mural honoring her late father. I'm tired. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's been a really tough week. Attorney Bridget Nicoletti represents those who have lived here in an ongoing legal battle. While some have moved to shelters, others haven't gone far. Residents have just been scrambling to try to figure out what to do. Um, we've seen a lot of people moving further into Wood Street, which means that the next phase is going to be even more difficult than this one was. One week ago, this area under the MacArthur maze was filled with cars, RVs and tents. All of the people have left and cleanup crews have left nothing behind. They just displacing us all, even the animals. Caltrans says the state has provided the city of Oakland $4.7 million in grants to rehouse people. And the previous dangerous fires illustrate serious safety risks to the unhoused, the highways and the traveling public. In phase one, an estimated 80 people have been pushed out. They robbing us. We don't have nothing already. Leaving those still here looking for a new place to live. Just survive. That's all you can do. Just hope you get by. Caltrans does plan to put up barricades to prevent unhoused residents from coming back to the cleared out areas where parts of the encampment once stood. Now, phase two of the cleanup is going to be even larger. That's scheduled for later this month, and that may involve evicting more than 150 people. Julie? Yeah, it's incredible how many people have lived there, and some yeah. for years, four or five years. Uh, in previous reports, Brooks, you've told us about the pushback from those, some of the pushback right. from those living there. I'm just curious, is that still happening, or, or how is it with them? We heard some yelling today. Some people were unhappy with all of those crews being out there to clean things up, but the majority of people that were unruly last time have we're told they've pushed into the encampment even deeper and are just holding out hope that they won't have to leave from there. But of course, it is imminent. Those evictions are coming in the weeks to come. Yeah, kind of prolonging the inevitable. Yeah. All right, Brooks, thank you.